are heading over to Emerald Lagasse because, of course, we want to know some great appetizers and some great desserts. Why don't you come down here with me? All right. I and, need Amy, Amy to be at the cocktail right spicy nut section. That's, That's right. That's, That's right. right. You and come over here. I'm going to keep the sweet one. All right, so how many, how many times have you guys, like, you had people drop in and it's like, oh, my God, what am, what am I going to do, right? Yeah. If you have a box of puff pastry in the freezer, that's a good start. You always have some nuts inside of the pantry. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them. Okay. So, what we're going to do is take the puff pastry, if it's in the freezer, defrost it, yep. and then we'll just use a little cutter. And I'm using little muffin. cookie cutter? Yep, little muffin tins. Okay. And then we just kind of shape the little crust just like this. So you do not have to make homemade crust. Okay. We love no, that. Just like that. Now, okay, now. If you whisk those eggs. Oh, uh, Robin, I'm whisking. Earlier, what I did is I uh, sauteed some leeks. And oh, what I'm going to do is have a little whipping cream. And then I'm going to add, the leeks were cooked down and cooled, but they have a little garlic in them as well. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So, just get in if there. you don't have leeks, you can just use onion. And then, most of the time, you always have bacon in the refrigerator. Yeah. You crisp that up, right? All right. All right. So then, now you've, you've created that. Yes, a little cheese. Adding, yeah. is it Parmesan or? Parmesan and a little and grated a little cheddar cheese. Great. A little fresh grated nutmeg, just a little bit, mm -hmm. and salt and pepper. Great. Okay. Mixed up. Yeah. The, and then the, and a dollop in each. Yep. And now, so what happens? 350 degrees, guys. You take the filling, just like this, and you're gonna just put it right in your little tot like that. Yep. Okay. How long do they cook? So they cook about 45 minutes in the oven. You gotta watch them. They get nice and golden brown. Here's one right here. Look at that. Ooh, okay. So there's yeah. there's that. Okay. Good. All right. And now, you ready? I, yes, I am ready for the spicy macadamia nuts, nuts, walnuts, peanuts, and almonds. Okay. Very very simple. What happens is this: you're gonna take a little uh, one egg white. Okay. And whisk it so that it's nice and foamy, and then we'll put this right in here. Look at that. Because that's what's going to coat. Impressive. That's what's going to coat. So now what we're going to do is this. We're going to take sugar. Okay. We'll start with half. Salt. A little essence. Stuff that you have. Essence? Okay? essence? What's I don't know that I have. I don't essence. know what essence My spice. Is. Okay. Oh. Yeah, these are good. Okay. All right. All right, guys, look at this. So now we dissolve this again. Watch this. The nuts go in there. We toss them. Ooh. 250 degrees because you don't want to too high okay. on a baking sheet just like this. Yum. Okay. Spread them out, baking sheet like that. So 250 easy. degrees. Okay. They get nice and oh, they just they taste great. They taste amazing. All right, I so love that's that. the nuts. That's Done. The favorite snack. Good. Now, Again, easy. here comes puff pastry. Okay. Yeah. So we have two sheets like Same this. Same deal. Right. You can. And what I did is I brushed oh, it. Put them over here. Yeah, brushed it with egg wash. Okay. That's what's going to make. The cheeses stick. And we're making these cheese sticks. We're making which a cheese I love stick. Love yep, in the homemade, holidays. right? Really good. Mm -hmm. So then what we do is after we get that, we're gonna take cheese. And that's the cheddar. Parmesan. Parmesan. Right. We're gonna take the cheddar. Uh -huh. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you could make some sort of pesto or whatever that I have here. I just like the cheese sticks Me myself. Too. Me yeah. Too. Like and then favorites. basically, once that's there, then what what happens is that we cut it mm -hmm. as big as you want them, as thin as you want them. And then the whole key here, Ginger, is this. Now we twist them. We twist them just like this on a baking sheet. They bake about 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. You'll see them how they get nice and crispy like this. But now it's dessert time, Robin. We were waiting for the coconut cake. Okay. Yes, please. Coconut cake. You know in the yes. south how we do that seven minute, right? Yes. That seven yes, minute icing? Yes, sir. Beautiful cake like that. Oh. And, oh. and my favorite, white chocolate bread pudding. Oh. Yes. Oh. White chocolate thank bread you. pudding. You can get as crazy as you want. Oh, thank you. Oh. We're going to get crazy here. Yes. Yum. You're going to get crazy right now. Or well, I should say the baby's going to get crazy. Uh, here comes the sugar rush. I'm looking oh back God. at this right now thinking, I remember when I ate carbs. That was so fun. <laughs> um, you can find oh all of goodness. these appetizers. Oh Is it ridiculous? Oh, my God. It's really so good. good. Mm. Appetizers and desserts on our website. Right? Robin needs to comment, though. It's yeah. incredible. It's that good. I'm so gonna start is, is this recipe on the website? <laughs> yes. Okay, because well, I, I need it. I mean, based on Robin's reaction, <laughs> I believe we all need to make this cake. Yeah, and it's not just on our website. Uh, on your website, ours, goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo.